परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ डी एम टी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड स्टेट अंडर वोल्टेज रिले सो वॉट इज द मेन एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू प्लॉट द डी एम टी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस सॉलिड स्टेट रिले डी एम टी मीन्स डेफिनेट मिनिमम टाइम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वॉट यू मीन बाई दिस डेफिनेट मिनिमम टाइम इज वॉट एवर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉल्ट करंट द टाइम टेकन बाई द रिले इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट so you can see here the apparatus used and you can check the procedure one by one each step of the procedure and the main heart of this experiment is the circuit diagram in the circuit diagram you can see say a two switches s1 s2 s2 is connected to a three phase auto transformer three phase auto transformer is connected to your relay through 21 23 27 and relay is connected to the timer and separately relay a timer is having an auxiliary supply of phase and neutral and triggering is given to this timer with p and n and s and s is shorted here so this is about the circuit diagram now let us go to the connection part of this experiment you can see here s2 switch have three phases this uh, white color wires indicate all the three phases r connected to r y connected to y b connected to b all the three phases of the supply are connected to the input of the auto transformer input of the auto transformer now let us see the output part output is connected to the relay box you can see your here r r of the output is connected to with this black wire it is connected to r r of the relay box it is 21 similarly y of the auto transformer is connected to y of the relay box 23 b of the auto transformer is connected to b of the relay box 27 this is about your r y b now you can see the no and c no is normally open c is closed L O is connected to N V of the timer, C of the relay is connected to C of the timer, and S N O of the relay is connected to N O of the timer, C is connected to the timer. You can see your S and S switch. It is shorted. S and S is shorted. Now I have to give my auxiliary supply as well as triggering to this timer. so auxiliary supply you can see au x 230 volts ac au x 230 volts ac this auxiliary supply have two wires this phase neutral this is given to a this is given to a separate switch s1 it is given to a separate switch s1 trigger you can see the trigger part this trigger is given to the supply phase and neutral it is given to the supply phase and neutral this is about the connection of your solid state relay now we will see the conduction part so in this conduction part before going to the conduction part you have to set the under voltage relay settings you can see here your under voltage settings consists of 86% of tapping 86% of your rated voltage and here your off delay i have set to 9 seconds i can make 3 seconds 6 seconds or 9 seconds i have set it to 9 seconds your on delay should be always zero these are the initial settings which you have to make for this solid state relay now we'll start the conduction part so in conduction part i have conducted a voltmeter voltmeter across my auto transformer now this voltmeter should read 86% of your rated voltage if my rated voltage is 400 86% of 400 voltage is my value which is uh, the fault uh, minimum pick up value your rating should be less than since it is under voltage relay your rating should be less than 86% then only the solid state relay will trip now let us observe let us switch on the supply let us switch on the supply s2 let me switch on the supply s2 and s1 let me switch on the supply s1 and s2 and observe observe the voltmeter i have recorded it less than i am wearing the auto transformer i am wearing the auto transformer and bringing my voltmeter less than 86 for example 
I brought it to 80, 80 volts, 80 volts. You can observe at 80 volts, your solid state relay is R L Y, relay stripped, under voltage. But relay timer, relay timer did not start exactly. So what you have to do is, I have to switch off my three phase auto transformer supply S2 and make it to zero. Make your voltmeter to zero. Bring RST reset and then switch on again S2 switch. S2 switch and give supply to your voltmeter and observe the readings. Observe the reading. Initially it was healthy. After the, it reaches to the value, you will get relay trip. And the time taken for the under voltage relay to reach to this relay box is 8.473 seconds at 80 volts. 80 into 4 is 320 volts. At 320 volts is less than 400 volts. So it is an under voltage relay. It is sensed at 320 volts. The time taken by the relay is 8.473 seconds. Now if I repeat this experiment with 75, 70, 65, 60 also, the time taken will be the same. It will not change. It will be 8.47 or 8.45, approximately constant. So it is called by the name DMT characteristics. Now let us have a look at the tabular column, how the readings will be. Now let us have a look of all the readings. You can see the time setting is 9 seconds. Your voltage setting is 86%. So your applied voltage should be less than 86% less than that value. If you observe at 100 into 4, 95 into 4, it's changing. It's not the same. But you observe from 85, 85 into 4, 80 into 4, 75, I have taken at 80 into 4, I got 8.714 reading. Similarly, 75 into 4, 70 into 4, you can see all these values it is almost 888, almost constant. It is almost constant. So only it is called by the name DMT characteristics. Whatever is the value of, of the fault voltage, the time taken by the relay is almost same. It's a very old and conventional type of relay which is not used nowadays. Nowadays every relay is worked with microprocessor or digital based relays. But just to show the difference, we have used this DMT characteristics. Now, let us go to the modal graph. You can observe the modal graph here with two axes. X axis is your applied voltage. Y axis is the time taken. You can observe the graph. It is almost straight line. It is almost constant straight line. So, what does this indicate? Whatever is the value of the fault voltage, the time taken by the relay is almost constant. So we have uh, uh, satisfied our aim. We have plotted the DMT characteristics of the solid state relay and we have tabulated the values and we have observed that the characteristics is almost constant. So this is about the experiment of solid state under voltage relay.